friends, welcome to my channel. I just showed you the other picture that I am documenting, and then these are the paints that I'm going to be using. They're satin acrylic paints by, I think it's called Handmade Market or Hand, something like that, from um, Target. You can get them there. They're only like $1.99. They're really awesome. I use them a lot for my Bible journaling. So, um, speaking of Bible journaling, I was really inspired by the techniques that I use in Bible journaling um, because I do a lot of pink backgrounds like this with just little swipes of paint on the columns of the pages that I journal on. I do my art journaling. And so I thought that would make a really cute background. And I love these paints that I use. So yeah, all I'm doing is making little swipes of paint here and there. And then, so I did that, but then I realized it probably will need more because um, I have the picture, but then I have so many layers behind it, so that adds a lot to the picture. And and so I figured I would make make the painted space a little bigger. I think these two colors were cherry blossom and can't remember the other one. I don't know if it was coral or if it was a different color, but you definitely should go check out the paints there. They have some awesome colors and really good price. So there you can see the paint and <clears throat> I let it dry and now I'm going to um, start layering up some pieces. I'm going to use my lovely ripping technique <laughs> that works just fine for me. I just like the texture it gives and uh, yeah, that's pretty much why I do it. I'm using uh, my Valentine's Day box, I guess you could say, the box where I keep all of my Valentine's stuff, which isn't that big. It's just one of those 12 by 12 or whatever it is, those scrapbooking boxes from Michael's. And I have all of my Valentine's stuff in one box. I'm using a lot of the Main Squeeze Collection by Crate Paper. So you'll see a lot of those papers, embellishments, stickers, and all that. This I got from a pen pal last year. Um, I wanted to use some of the t like washi tape little pieces there, but uh, that I will come in with that later. You'll see that in a little bit. I pulled out the tags from the ephemera pack. It's crazy how fast you can use that ephemera pack sometimes. Whoops, so oh, well. It's all to good use. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I'm just layering these up and finding different textures and uh, different pieces to put on it. I think my paper was still drying a little bit, so I just put it to the side. And it's perfect to use up your scraps, too, if you just have little pieces of paper and to kind of tuck them behind the layers. It's perfect for that. I'm just going to cut a little bit off the chipboard there so that I can uh, put it behind the photo to give it a little bit of height. Perfect way to use up your garbage, really. I think that's awesome. Because I always feel guilty. We have so much garbage and waste that we use from all these collections and everything, so I feel good about using, knowing that that chipboard isn't just going in the garbage, it's going to good use. So I felt like it was coming together, but I thought maybe the tape could make a really good layer. And then I put it on top there and realized it might look cute if I made it appear as if, um, as if I kind of had like taped the picture down. So I had to put some chipboard behind that too, so it would be the same level. This uh, card with the hearts behind it was actually cut apart from the main squeeze collection and I'm just going to round the edges um, because I just like the look of that. <laughs> I had no specific reason. I just didn't like that hard edge too much. Okay, so now I'm just kind of putting it on the page and seeing if it's looking right. And I decide that it needs a tab. So I use my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch.
And I just put it on the top there. I think that paper is from Crate Paper Hello Love Collection from about two years ago, probably. And I like that. I like how the paint is just kind of poking out. It's not the main, main, it's not where your eye is drawn to. It's drawn to the photo. And I wanted to use this big chipboard piece as my title. Originally, I was going to put it on the left side there, kind of sideways, but then I liked it better at the bottom in the end. And I wanted to put that little heart ephemera piece on the side. I thought that looked cute. Now I'm just going through the sticker packs and the chipboard and seeing what else will work. I love that little, I don't know, banner piece, I guess you could call it. That's from the main squeeze sticker sheet. So I put that on there. My Har or my cat Harvey is on the computer, so I can't see anything. Can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I was just trying out different things from, oh, move it, cat, from um, different sticker sheets and stuff from my stash. Nothing was really working. So I put some gold and some black um, Heidi Swap Color Shine, and then I take out my Illustrated Faith Heart Stamp, this, um, I believe this came in the advent kit and I just do a few hearts here and there because I really felt like it needed more black because the picture was so dark. All of our shirts are so dark. So I thought that came together perfectly. Oh, and I put the date at the bottom. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making it and using these awesome collections and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.